Hi, this is Bill from BK Race Engines and this is my Falcon XAGT. Well, I grew up in, in Belmore. It was always Ford versus Holdens. All day we just spoke about cars. That's all we did at school. You know, back in the Iron Park days, a 13 year old kid and exposed to drag racing and just loved the noise and, and all that. And from that point on, it was just cars cars and cars. I worked at Lynx Engineering for you know probably eight or nine years you know, so I got to know the parts really well and starting to work after hours at home building an engine here. You know then I was approached by Graham Cowan at Rocket Industries and, and I went and worked there and I was literally working at Rocket during the day and working in the shed at night. What it was 2004 Sydney Dragway opened I knew that it was now or never. At that point, we, we knew that that's it. This is us, this is what we're doing, you know? You know, I was still working from my home garage and we had won our first Australian championship. You know, I think we've won maybe 10 championships. I literally started my business from a six by four garage and I had this big red XA in the garage. So, you know, it just kept getting in the way. I just got sick and tired of pushing it in and out of the garage every day. And I thought it's time for it to go. I learned a lot from that car and, and I, I carried on like an absolute rat bag on the street. So I had some great times with that X8. When the car left, it was just one of those things that I said to myself, I will get another one. It's just an X8, it's no big deal, Bill, you know? Harden up, you know, we'll get another one. It's all good, you know, but uh, I guess it was over 15 years, maybe 20 years went by. And, and it wasn't until kids come in and, you know, I think it was a Saturday night, sitting at home, you know, and it's like, oh, let's go to the beach and get an ice cream. And I've jumped in my wife's Mazda 6 and I'm driving this Mazda 6 and, you know, thinking, oh, yeah, this is nice I'm with my family. How great is this? And it just happens that a, a whole convoy of uh, muscle cars come past me. And it, literally at that point, it was instant depression. Like I thought to myself, I need another car. That's it. You know, I remember the promise I made to myself and I said that I'd buy another XA. And uh, when I went shopping for XAs, it was a two year process to find the right car. And it just happened that if they weren't red, they just didn't get me excited. And this was the first red one that I come across that was you know, restorable and it was a good car and two years after we bought it, we, we restored it and it ticks all the boxes now. You know, I guess the first time you sit in an XA, it feels like a modern car versus an XY. You know, you've got a, a full seat, you've got a console, you've got an armrest, and you're sitting in the car, and it actually, it's a lot more comfortable car. So to me, the front end of an XA looks tougher than any other Falcon that they've ever built. When we got it, it was, it was a seven out of 10 car. For me, it was just like, if this is, you know, this is the car that I'm gonna have, it has to be mint. To me, the look of them, it never ages. It's gonna look right. If it, if it looks the way it did, the way it came out of the factory. I guess that I like the cars as what they are and everything about them. I just hate the fact that they're gutless. <laughs> there was a lot of good original parts on the car, which, you know, we've put back on the car. Like, you know, I've chosen to keep the original stuff, even though they're not 10 out of 10. I just like the fact that, you know, there's something in the car that's 40 years old plus, and it still looks great. The first time I drove it, it, like I stood on it and I'm like, come on baby, you can do it, you know? Come on, what's going on here? And like I'm looking out the window and there's clouds coming out the back and I'm like, nah, I can't drive this thing. This isn't good, you know? <laughs> I guess with me, I had to, I had to put something special in it because, you know, it sort of reflects on what we do in the shop. But um, I didn't want to take anything away from the car. Like I, you know, like when you look under the bonnet, it's all as standard as it can be. We've done everything humanly possible with this car to make it look as close to stock as it can be, you know? So, look, we've built a ton of engine packages similar to this one. With this thing here, what I intentionally tried to do was, you know, try and make as much torque with the least amount of revs. Um, so the engine itself made like 570 foot pound at like 4,600 RPM. And like, cause of that, I, you know, I could come down on stall converter and stuff like that and the car still drives nice. I guess with this engine, it was as much power as I could make without taking anything away from the car. Basically, the engine's the original motor. You know, got the factory 4V heads, a Cleveland block in it. All we've really done, it's, it's a, a 408 cube stroker. 
a roller cam in it, 12 and a half to one compression, and got one of our APD carbs on it. Factory auto light distributor with ice ignition inside it, so it's got an upgraded ignition system. You know, it's got t &D rockers on it, it's got bush roller lifters in it, it's got, you know, diamond pistons, got a Cali's crank in it, it's got, like, so it's got the fruit with what we built and made 660 horse. Shane from SK Restorations took on the, the resto. Uh, initially it went down there and it's like, Shane, just pretty it up a little bit, please. It snowballed from there. We ended up stripping the bay, car went on the road rotisserie. So basically the undercarriage of the car was just cleaned and painted. We've tried to do it as true to the car as, as it could be. Probably a year and a half process and then, yeah, look, it, it drives like a 1972 car. Like, and you gotta sort of accept the car for what it is. So the car was unveiled at Summonats. One of those things, I guess, for any car builder, it's just the icing on the cake. And, and I guess for us, it was, it was, you know? It was, it was good. We got a, a good positive response from it and people loved it. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm grateful we did it. To come out of it with, um, you know, a top muscle car at the show as well, it was just a bonus. I guess for us, the car wasn't built to be a show car. It was built for, for me and the family to, to enjoy. To be able to, to take it to a show like Summonats, and it was always one of those things. It's like, I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna magazine it, and then I'm just gonna drive the wheels off it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna clean it, that's it, I'm done, you know? <laughs> Spending three days cleaning a car for a show, I won't be doing that again. I'm just happy to put my kids in it and, and go for a Sunday burn. That's pretty much what I do with a car. <laughs>